Hey guys, we are carrying on our week of Wakanda here on Rich Mid Gaming. It's time for another Ultimate Guide. Yes, we're revisiting an older uh, guide that we did a long, long time ago, but a lot has changed since then. So let's jump over to the Wakanda Ultimate Guide. Hey guys, Rich from Rich Me Gaming. Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. And yes, it is Wakanda week. Happy Wednesday. Only two days left until we can go see uh, Wakanda forever. Um, <clears throat> we've been doing some Marvel Snap uh, Wakanda coverage, doing lists all around Black Panther. And I thought it would be thematic, as we've technically never done an ultimate guide on these before. We did a how to play, which was our first iteration of them, uh, but we've never done an ultimate guide. So we thought we'd take a look at Wakanda and joining me to go through uh, this pretty cool affiliation uh, within Marvel Crisis Protocol is, of course, Mr. Quinn Duggan. Quinn, how the hell are you doing, sir? I'm doing alright. I'm hoping for the intro of this one we can have some like cool flyby shots like it's the trailer for Wakanda <coughs> Forever. We Maybe a bit of like Wakandan-esque music. There might just be a little Wakanda Forever in there at some point. Like... Oh, but it needs like an echo on the ever. Yeah, ever, absolutely. Ever. <laughs> Wakanda, Quinn. Wakanda. Um, third or fourth affiliation third. in the game. I think they were third, third, weren't they? I think they came out before before Asgard. Um they were once. I believe they were like. Were they a December release? Were they the only December release we've ever had in the yeah, game? Yeah, they could have been. Yeah, because yeah. I'm fairly certain Asgard were February, and I get the feeling these guys weren't January. No, I think they were earlier, weren't they, than that? Yeah. But, um, and they were for a long time, a long, long time. Um, the sort of meta affiliation, right? If somebody they was going to were play... like the yeah. control affiliation. <clears throat> yeah. Right? If somebody was going to play a um play a, a, a you know the most competitive roster in the game, it was Wakanda and it was, you know, pushing people left, right and centre. And you know, the joke being is that you could win a game with Wakanda without rolling a dice, right? You weren't reliant on dice whatsoever because you would just activate Shuri last, she would go push push and you would win the points, and that was about it. Um, and it's fair to say that whilst... If that didn't do it, you'd do Wakanda forever, and <laughs> more people. Well, yeah, exactly that. Um, and I think it's fair to say that whilst that's still, you know, that control element is still most definitely part of their game, it's not the only unique defining feature of them anymore, really, is it? Um, especially with the changes that have happened... Uh, particularly to to Shuri, obviously three of their big members have had um, had changes in the game, uh, but you know with the with the change to Shuri's push, um, I think it's gone from it did go from unlimited to three, I think. Um, Tie three, yeah, um, which is obviously a you know a big big difference. Um, I feel like they've been brought further away from that extreme control angle, and now they're yeah. like slightly more mid range. Um, I mean, we'll get into it later, but there are some things with the Koye that I'm still not happy about. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But um, I like the diversity. And, you know, it has my... This affiliation has my favourite four-threat character in this game, in, right? Oh, Black Panther, right? No, right? no, no, no. It's Mr. Uh, Kill, uh, Mr. Killmonger. <laughs> uh, no. Mr. Kill I always use the real names, Queen, because you just never know. Always call them... Give him a Mr., Unless it's strange and he can be Mr. Strange. I don't care if he earned that doctorate or not. Um, so if anyone's wondering what the hell this is, what are we rambling on about? This is the ultimate guide to Wakanda. Uh, what we're going to do is go through, have a look at the affiliation. We're going to take a look at uh, Black Panther's card and, and primarily his leadership and talk about how that affects the game and the type of characters you want to bring. We're then going to build what we call a three-box roster. Um, so that's using the core box uh, and then any three character packs. And then we can use any cards, any characters uh, from any of those packs as long as they're not band-restricted or rotated, which that's quite a lot. Um, so we're going to build a roster using three boxes. And the idea being is that that becomes then a great starting point. You've gone out and bought the core box and you want to play Wakanda. Where do you go next? There's some obvious ones. There's some less obvious ones. Once we've done that and built that, we'll then go and put together a sort of um, 
unrestricted roster where we can pick cards and characters from any packs whatsoever but you can see that as a journey you can see that you can start with these three boxes and then add to your collection over time uh, and eventually come out with a, a roster that you're happy with um, <clears throat> and what we will tr always try and do we may pick some particular characters what you often find Quinn weren't you with these is that there's multiple characters that can fit the same role we just have our personal favorites um, so you know we'll take a look at um, you know the character that we like but we'll then maybe talk about who else you could sort of look at or the types of traits and abilities that work well within this particular affiliation um so before we jump over and take a look at all of the cards quinn i do want to start with the main man himself black panther aka t'challa no um, mr t'challa mr t'challa the king he's a king actually <laughs> Um, so, so we give royalty titles, but people yes. that actually earn their doctorates. No, we can't give them their titles. <laughs> um, so we have the... And again, we're not going to go through his card top to bottom, Quinn. We're just looking at that affiliation. But King of Wakanda. Affiliation Wakanda, obviously. When an allied character is attacking, defending, or dodging during the modify dice step, it may spend one power. If it does, it may re-roll one of its dice. Um really straightforward right you can tell that this is early doors atomic mass games marvel crisis protocol right like you know first one was spend super power for one less get power when do damage spend power reroll dice like they were quite they were quite basic but and power heal or remove conditions <laughs> yeah, exactly right um so and then somehow basic, we ended up with like old winging it <laughs> we did yeah um but it it hold it, it it holds true because there's not a lot of situations where spending one power to potentially do an extra damage or fish for that wild or block one extra you know attack dice or you know block one extra or, or dodge an extra dice like it it it's pretty efficient right one power for one reroll very efficient um, like it can just. It can get you out of a lot of hairy situations and it can put your opponent in a lot of hairy situations as well. Yeah, it really can. And the fact that it's not limited, uh, it's obviously one power, so you can only ever reroll one dice at a time, um, but you can do this every attack, you can do this every defence, every dodge during a single turn, activation, round, right? It's not like the, uh, the cable one where you're limited to once per turn or whatever it is, right? Um, it's you know you can if you've got the power you can spend it and reroll at any point which is which is nice and we'll see how this coupled then with particularly Shuri um, sort of really doubles down on that um, and I imagine a little a little Baron that may be joining the party <laughs> at, uh, what? at some point. I don't know who you mean. Oh, are we bringing Strucker in? Boiler oh, alerts. Okay. Yeah. Um, the other thing I want to just take a quick look at Quinn is their uh first what i call their main tactics card um so wakanda forever it's an active tactics card and it's any number of allied wakanda characters may spend one power to play this card each character that spent power may immediately perform an attack with a power cost of zero um this is almost identical, Quinn, isn't it, to the Siege of Darkness card that we covered in yep. Midnight Suns? But people it is make, half the cost. It's it's half the cost, and people will go, well, why is it half the cost? Well, we have, you know, a character in here that can do a maximum of one damage, a character in here that, you know, is a four dice strike with I mean, a you know a range let's two. be honest, a character that is never going to have the power to play Wakanda forever. <clears throat> exactly. Because they right? took away her power gen. So, you know, really only two characters in Killmonger and Black Panther. Spo whoa, whoa, whoa. Spoiler Storm. alert. We've got Storm. Storm. Storm ain't making a cut. Um, that, can, that can really use this. Um, so whilst it, it costs one less, its impact can be, or is far less impactful. You, you look at that versus the likes of, you know, Blade, Moon Knight, Ghost Rider. Um, Range. Strange, God, yeah. So just, you know, the, the level of characters, right? Four threat is the highest we've got. You've got five threat characters in, in Midnight Suns, which is why it costs that one more. Um, this is a real key card for Wakanda, Quinn, isn't it? And often a little bit like Siege of Darkness, playing this at the right time 
um, is really, really important. However, like a lot of the time you will use this card to either seal out a game or rescue a game, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's another card that we'll go into that often combos quite nicely with this um, into uh, into another card as well. But uh, yeah, let's jump over, Quinn, to TTS and we'll go through and take a look at the cards that we have got. So as you can see here, we've got the three character packs. So Black Panther, Killmonger, Shuri and Okoye, uh, Storm and Cyclops that all contain a member of Wakanda. Obviously, Cyclops not being a uh, a member. All of the cards that they come with, and then underneath we have got the core box and everything that comes in that. Quinn, obviously, obviously, we are starting out, and you know, T'Challa, Killmonger, Shuri, and Okoye make the cut, right? Like and Storm, right? And Storm, right? This is the Anakin Padme thing again, isn't it? <laughs> well, we'll come back to them. Oh dear. We we spoke about Wakanda forever. Obviously, that yep. makes it in. Usurp the throne. But not may, card. Maybe the best character card in the game because of it's what it does. Definitely up there. Um, um, it's even better in this affiliation as well because of how it combos with Wakanda Forever. If yep. you just miss out on that last bit of damage, Wakanda Forever, get that point through. Exactly. Get the VPs. Yeah. And then we get Battle Lust. I mean, luckily oh, for great, us, yeah. we didn't want it anyway. Oh. <sighs> now, we have to apologise. We did forget about Research Station in the last video, Quinn, uh, and that would have we gone did. in there. However, we don't even get the goddamn opportunity, Quinn. Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a crisis in Storm and Cyclops. We're saved. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh, yeah, so Mis Mis Mystic Wakandan Herbs, fact or fiction, they would have gone, let me ask you a question, Quinn. Does this work for Wakanda anyway? Is, uh... this, is this an extract that you go, yeah, Wakanda have got some good tech in there to... To really help them, I wouldn't say that they're good at scoring it, but equally, I would say that they're good at denying it. That is true. That is true. So it almost becomes a bit of a mute, a mute point. But for me, uh, it was never point? a mute what point. Like it was, you know. J just spell that first word for me. Mute. M U T E. It's moot. The, the saying is moot point. Is it really? M O O T. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> Every day is a school day. What, what, what's that? Oh, there's an episode of the IT crowd about that. What is it? I don't oh, know. It's something about a stool. I can't remember it. Anyway, anyway. Quinn, it's a moot point. <laughs> there um, we go. <laughs> but we can't use it anyway, so it gets it gets taken out. Uh, advanced R and D. Uh, no. It, we're not going to use one of our restricted spots on it, especially now that it's during a character's activation that they have to use it. So that one does go. But then what I want to put in for consideration is... Vibranium shielding. Vibranium shielding. Um, so it's basically the ability that Iron Man and the... Well, Corvus it's, and whoever... it's specifically not the ability Iron Man has. Oh, it's not actually, is it? Because his is any damage. Um, but it's the, you know, enemy effect. So um, collisions... And attacks basically. Anything uh, your opponent did to you, yeah, you, you reduce. Yeah, Pretty not good. bleed, not bleed. No. Um, so spend X and it creates a bubble, basically, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Um, I think this is a solid card in like a three box format. I think it goes in. I agree. I agree. So which of the cards from the? Yeah, they get deleted. <laughs> um, we're not even Here, here's one we prepared earlier. Yes, and it's oh look, and do you know what? Quit another older, older box. Yeah, um, came out. Leave with the Asgard wave. I think so. Yeah, yeah. But we've got Vision, Mister Victor Shade, and I mean everyone's the the, the White Wolf. I mean, yeah, yeah. technically, yeah. technically the White Wolf. Yes, let's give you that. Let's give you that. So these guys are going straight in. And then their Tatis cards. No. Now, we do have Captain America. No. No? Okay. Um, psy Psychic shielding device? In a three-box format, no. No? Okay. Oh, what about tactical analysis? 
No, oh, that's rot- really good. It's rotated. Brilliant card. One of the best cards in the game. We should definitely take that one. Field dressing. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it, we can't. Uh, We're not allowed it. <laughs> um, I want that one. We are lacking a little bit, Quinn. That's what I will say. You I look mean, at the. Um, they really didn't like go easy on the Wakandan boxes in oh, terms they, of like cards they just ruined. They really didn't, did they? Um, I mean, you look at uh, what um, Hydra that we've just done, and we had a lot of cards there. I mean, to be fair, Red Skull was Most doing some some heavy lifting. Um, but let's go to the core box. Let's take a look at the other we've characters. Got four picks from the core box. Um, I'd like to put like. Three of them up there immediately. You've got one of them. You ho- you were ho- no 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 no. Oh. You're hovering over one of them. There we go. And then who do you think the last one is, Rich? I'd go with either Doc there, Ock there he is. or Spider Man. Doc Ock. Yeah, bit of control. You know it's really good. Paying one power to re-roll your flurry of arms and get a wild and get two successes. Yeah. Well, or even. Paying one power, re-rolling it, getting a wild, and uh, and getting it back. <laughs> he doesn't mind I mean, that, does he? But yeah, sure. Sorry, a crit, not a wild. I do apologise. Um, and obviously, terrain and enemy character throw never to be uh, enemy at. character throw, especially in Wakanda. Yeah, because it is something that they are uh, they are lacking uh, a little bit of there, aren't they? We're just going to move this down now. Again, Queen, we spoke about how having a good blend of threat levels is important. Um, I like how we're talking about a roster like it's coffee now. I know, right? A good blend. Um, right now we've got uh, we've got no access to anything above a four threat, right? That's just mm. what we've chosen. Um, but we do have three four threats, uh, two two threats, and four three threats. So it's whether or not we think there is we've room got... for... Yeah, yeah, it's... Um, I, I mean, don't think there is room for another four. I think it is going to be a three, and it is going to be Tony. It's going to be Tony, isn't it? It's Mr. Like, Stank. I mean, that push is pretty Wild good. push any size, uh, you know, brings back some of what Wakanda lost. Uh, Friday AI brings you, like, some nice damage. And just like the AoE, I mean, if you really want to, you can push the entire enemy team within two of one character, and then homing rockets them twice for Splash. Yeah. I wouldn't it's, advise you know. it, but it's a thing you could do. <laughs> it is a thing you could do. It is a thing you could do. Um, so let's get rid of these characters. Um, let's just automatically move these up here because we don't have access to any others. Let's talk about tactics cards. Let's start with... Seven we got. Yeah, seven left. Um, I like a follow me. I like I a brace, don't like and I like a sacrifice. In Wakanda, I prefer patch up brace. Patch I think that brace. survivability aspect that Wakanda brings, especially with people like Panther, um, just like, especially Panther wanting to stay on his healthy side. Uh, like I think bringing in those sorts of things, like, I mean, brace is always good, especially with a character like Panther who you know counts blanks against attacks but not throws, makes him more like. Actively targeted by those sorts of things. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I am okay with that. There's going to be some ones that we can't use, so let's get rid of them. Um, we can use Ricochet Blast. We can't. I mean, we can use Smash, but you know. I mean, uh, we're taking Mission Objective, right? Yeah, Mission Objective makes it in there. Really plays into what they like. I don't mind I inspiring think... Manolo- monologue. No. The, the rest disappears. of this is going to be like a lot of filler. So I think we put in escort, safety, trip, trip up, up, and like monologue, and then we're still one card down. I want to say. I mean, do you know what? Can, can we just like put dark rain in there instead of one two? <laughs> like I, I don't, I don't want to be able to play it in a game, but I would rather have a useless card in my roster than one two punch. <laughs> Well, I mean, you've got two useless cards in your roster then, haven't you? Ooh. Oh, right. There we go, Quinn. There we go. This is what it looks like. Um, which is not bad, right? It's okay. 
I mean, um, I think like the the packs outside of the three box is definitely going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Um, it really is. It really Zemo is. Zemo and Doc Ock are going to be great because they're just generally good. They are. But yeah. Let's pop it into the roster and we'll take a look at it. Okay, coming so here is our three box challenge Wakanda roster. So, starting off, then we have got Baron Zemo, we've got Black Panther, we've got Black Widow, Doctor Octopus. Uh, Iron Man, Killmonger, Okoye, Shuri, Vision, and last but by no means least, Mr. Winter Soldier. Um, and we've pointed it out before, Quinn, but I think it's always worth mentioning, just in case this is the first time anyone has seen this video. Um, a leadership ability, so King of Wakanda, you'll see them on the cards, the way that they're defined is the little star. Anyone who is in your squad, as long as you have 51% or more uh, affiliated characters, can use this leadership ability. So if you've got um, Black Panther, Okoye and Shuri, and then you put uh, Iron Man and Doctor Octopus in there at 15 threat, you're affiliated to Wakanda because you've got three out of the five characters. Um, and that means that Doctor Octopus and Iron Man can utilize this leadership ability. Now let's say you want to add in, um, we want to go up to 18 threat and we want to use Winter Soldier, which is actually not a bad 18 threat list. Killmonger probably makes it in there. Um, Winter Soldier changes things because he is Rogue Agent. So Rogue Agent means one character with Rogue Agent counts as an affiliated character during squad building. So right now, normally, We've got six characters, and only three of them are Wakanda. So if this was any other character apart from Winter Soldier or another rogue agent, let's say it was Zemo, for example, right now we are not affiliated because we've got Which six characters. not only disables the leadership, but also means you can't take affiliated cards. It does, doesn't it? Which is really, really important. Um, so because we take Winter Soldier... He is affiliated, uh, and it means that out of the six, we've now got four, because only having three out of six isn't more than 50%, which is why that people be, say... Yeah. It's why, why people we, say 51%. It's why we use 51 instead, but it's just technically it that confusion. It's technically more than 50, isn't it, is the actual rule, but... Yeah, so, I mean, I guess if you had, like... You'd need, know, like, a, a, a thousand, thousand characters, threats. and you had 501... <laughs> yeah. That is more than 50%, so you'd be fine. It is. Um, but the other thing I want to point out is that Winter Soldier, or indeed any other rogue agent, only counts as affiliated when you're working out your squad. When it comes to tactics cards, and in particular it's important in this affiliation because of Wakanda Forever, even though Bucky is counted as, as a uh, Wakandan during the squad building, he then loses that, and he cannot utilize the tactics cards. You need to be named on that Wakandan affiliation to be able to use it. It's the same for him in Avengers or anything else. Um, so yeah, just wanted to point that out, uh, just because I know it is a little rule that sometimes gets people confused. And let's get rid of Dr. Octopus, Iron Man, and Winter Soldier for a second, Quinn, and look at our core three characters. We always talk about how it's really important to have a core of three, and... It's pretty straightforward for these guys, isn't it? It's Black Panther, Okoye, and Shuri at nine threat. And that Very was cheap. one of the reasons why they were so good early doors. Because of the fact that they were only nine threat. And you can then add any two other characters in there that could be big hitters and you're still affiliated, um, which is obviously very, very nice. Um, but this is typically going to be your your core queen, isn't it, for really yeah. any game that you're coming that you're coming into. Um, and obviously, like adding... I think there is like another variation of the core you can do that is like higher threat, but like kind of changes tact in a like kind of major way, going from that control playstyle, defensive playstyle to full kill. And that would yeah. be like Panther, Killmonger, like Winter Soldier. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to go far more aggressive. Um, I would say, you know, losing out on Shuri's rerolls, I think is, I still do like having them in there. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. This is most definitely 
an alternative um, sort of core that you could go. So if you wanted to go 14 threat, for example, but be more killy, be more killy, that's good English, uh, you know, throw Baron Zemo in there and all of a sudden at 14 threat, you have got Solid. four characters who can deal out some significant damage. Um, and, you know, Zemo almost takes the role, doesn't he, of, of Shuri, yeah. at least in that support mechanism. Um, and, you know, if you're playing 14 threat, you're going to be on either, uh, is it uh, Senators or oh, cool. Sword base, I think it is. Oh, um, what, what do you mean, Senators? Do you mean mutants? I always call it mutants. Because it's mutant man, men, I don't know what it is. No, it's not. It's mutant extremists, not mutant mad extremists. man. Yeah, there we go. Um so that's you are right though, Quinn. So that's either going to be your core Black Panther, Killmonger, Winter Soldier, or it's going to be Black Panther, uh, Okoye, and Shuri. That being the more traditional one that people have used in the past. Um, we are limited, Quinn, to seventeen threat, uh, yeah. which um, which does hurt us a little bit. Um, we know our Winter Soldier is very good, Quinn. Um, have we just brought Vision along because he's making up the numbers? Oh no, we brought him along because he is one of the best four threats in Wakanda. It's pretty damn uh, good, isn't it? I mean, like, sort of, I mean, if you're going to be using different characters and you just want to know, like, sort of your baseline of what to look out for, for what makes a good Wakanda character, the main thing is having an abundance of power, right? That leadership, it costs power, you're going to be able to proc it very, very often throughout a game. Having a character that has a lot of power like Vision, uh, for example, because he builds power guaranteed on his builder. Yeah. Um, it's potentially hitting multiple people, so you've got even more, and you're potentially sapping, and you've got synthesis as an action. Like, Vision can very comfortably just beam, like, three or four people and re-roll a die on every single one of those attacks, and it just massively increases that output. Um, yeah. Whilst also giving you access to a character throw, like some sort of Avenger is a pretty good spender that not a lot of people see coming. Uh, like he's got decent defensive stats, even though it doesn't look like it at the top of his card. He's just he, he's a very very solid pick, and I think more so in Wakanda than most other affiliations. Yeah, he's really good, isn't he? Like you say, he's a bit of a battery, um, and he also brings that, as you said, that terrain and uh, enemy character throw, which. Leans into both the attrition game, you know, if we want to go kill you, um, because vision can dish out some damage, um, but also lends itself into that um control game as well, right? Because it's a guaranteed thing and it's a size three throw and it's a medium throw as well, Quinn. So, you know, size three characters it only cost two power as well, it's insanely cheap, but I'm, I'm just like, you know, most most size three characters, I think, with the exception of. Sabretooth is a character by himself, but then also Wolverine and um, uh, X-23 when it comes to throwing them. I think every other size three character is on a medium base. So that medium throw actually there becomes really There is a size really three far. character that's on a 65 mil, thank you very much. No, I was sorry, I meant as at least I, I a, at least a medium know, base. Yeah. Who's three in on a... Oh, Ghost Rider. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, Ghost Rider. Yeah. Because um, he's but yeah, a size two man on a size one motorbike. He is, yes, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right, Quinn. Uh, that solar energy beam can be devastating. And we said it with Siege of Darkness, but it's worth mentioning again here um, with uh, Wakanda Forever. Whilst only Wakandans can use it, you don't have to be... It doesn't have to be during a Wakandan character's activation. You don't even need to declare that you're activating a particular character before you use it. It's just on your turn. There's a window of opportunity before you activate a character to play tactics cards or... I mean, it's just... Right now, it's mainly just play tactics cards. Um, but... Um, so you can do that on Vision's turn, for example. Um, and actually, quite often, if you want it to have a really big impact... You can do that, can't you, with a, a, a non Wakandan character and then have at least two or three other characters being able to chip in and do that damage there as well. Um, so, yeah, Vision, I've got a lot of love for him, Quinn. He's one of my first loves of the game. So, uh, I like He's to a see good him lad. in there. He's a good egg. No words are needed for Zemo. Um, you know, Black Widow, we spoke about. 
you know, I, I gather and, if we're yeah, going the the other having way, having two two threats lets you go very wide. It does, and also, you know, if we are going that other way of Killmonger, uh, Black Panther, and Winter Soldier, having another two threat in there that kind of does a little. You know, if you're looking for a back point holder that with a little bit of defensive tech, um, that you know, with that long mover can go pick something up and bring it back, um, you know. She is probably better at that job than Okoye is, right? Uh, you know, yes, Okoye comes with a better stat line, comes with the bodyguard, um, but as an objective holder, I would say, you know, Natasha's probably better, uh, at least in this uh, in this. Yeah, setup. She, she's got the speed and yeah. the stealth. Like she's very much a solid objective runner. So we've got our uh, we've got our core characters in Quinn. What does a seventeen threat? look like for uh, control what i want to do is put together a 17 threat control and a okay. 17 threat attrition list because i think that's probably you know what we what we're looking at here isn't it so let's start with the control so we've got okoye we've got shuri um and we've got black panther who else goes in there from a control perspective well i mean it kind of has to be two threes and a two right um yeah, two threes and a two, or there's a four and a three. No, four and a three does work no. as well. Mathematically, we got? it doesn't. Eight, it doesn't work, does it? No. <laughs> like... we could, you know, we could go. Uh, we could just go two fours. Like that's the thing. You could I mean, go yeah, kill one. Go vision. Is, I but... <laughs> think the the two four route is very much the killing route. Um, yeah. No, I think you're I right. Mean, if we're bringing in three more characters, one of them has to be Bucky, otherwise we're losing out on being affiliated. It does, yes, yeah. So it then does have obviously to be Bucky. we're taking Widow because she's our other two threat, and then it's a choice between Zemo, Iron Man, or Doc Ock. I'm leaning more towards Doc Ock for that character throw. I think for a control, I think you're absolutely right, um, and I would say because of his ability to generate power, he's going to be able to utilize that leadership ability much, much more often uh, and more consistently as well because of scientific hubris and then because of that flurry of arms. You know, if you re-roll into a wild, you know, it's essentially, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a plus two gain, isn't it, um, for, a, for a single power, which is obviously very, very nice. Um, and, yeah, I mean, look, and at, and at 17 threat, six wide um, is, is pretty oh, damn good. So that again, sorry, Quinn. The other affiliations can really match that no. as well. Like you've got Guardians, and that's probably about it. Maybe a Sam Spam or something. Yeah, and and on that Quinn, and I think an important thing to sort of cover off here is what type of affiliations are we going to want to play this control list into? Because you know, for example, this would just be wiped out by a Cabal, for example, right? A Malakith led Cabal would just be like a you know. Him on his stupid bog tiger, like a knife through butter, and the only one standing at the end is probably uh, Black Panther and no, but and, and I not mean, I don't even think Black Panther standing at the end. Like, I think the only one standing is Widow because she's run off to the opposite <laughs> corner of the board. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's almost like you know, not being able to modify dice against Malekith is fucking silly. It's really bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, o- other attrition lists. Um, are not going it's not going to work particularly well is it but i do think that going up against in in the right scenario <clears throat> so for example if we pulled a uh, an infinity formula a riot sparks with like a a spider infected for example this is going to work really well on there isn't it where we can take those assets and move them around as long as we don't have a stupid bog tiger that can just you know rake us down um but i think you know i think they can do well against that um other other sort of i don't want to say like mid-tier but like you know i mean the word you're looking for is mid-range mid-range sorry not mid-tier other other mid-range teams it's going to work really well against um i think i don't think it's going to work particularly well against as i mentioned you know one one big hitter or very tall characters in terms of size. Um, 
Yeah, I, mean, I think, I think like you solid. might be able to leverage like the crisis in those situations, try and just outscore as fast as possible. If you're playing on like just the core box crises as well, getting a spread out one potentially means that you can like damage control and mitigate a little bit. Yeah, but it is still going to be an uphill struggle. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is a little bit. Let's take a look then at the more attrition based list. So let's leave Black well, it's, Panther. It's got three, four threats in it. <laughs> <laughs> let's leave Black Panther in there for a moment. Um, so we've got Black Panther, we've got Killmonger, and we've got Winter Soldier. And again, it just shows how important that Winter Soldier is, Quinn, in this roster, isn't it? Giving us that flexibility. Um, so, uh, I mean, I gather. And you say that, but I'm about to take him out. <laughs> oh, are we going? Uh, are we going down this route? Yes, we're going down that route. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, so Black Panther, Okoye, Killmonger as the core, and then Vision and Baron Zemo. Um, which, yeah, I mean, I am. I mean, I like, am more this than is okay absolutely with. delightful on an E map or a C map, to be fair. Yeah, just getting those straight lines where you can beam everyone to death with Vision. Like, having a cluster in the middle that Zemo can stand in and just give out that strategic genius or tactical smart boy, as it is now. Yeah, Deadly Meteors, Gamma Wave, those sorts of things. It, it really, really does thrive, doesn't it? It's going to struggle a little bit more on those sort of wider setups, you know, your Fs. Um, you know, single targets, it's okay at, but, you know, your F, uh, your F maps and those sorts of things, but... Yeah, nice and compact. It's gonna work. It's going to work quite well. Um, so I do, uh, I do like that. And you know, a nice easy swap is then if we need to go from seventeen up to eighteen, for example, we can go down the Winter Soldier route, which gives us eighteen. And equally, if we need to flex down uh, from a seventeen to sixteen, we can again drop Vision and go with a Winter Soldier as well, should we wish. So I think we've got some. Some nice flexibility in there as well, haven't we? In terms of, in terms of threat level, um, Queen. Let's jump over to Cerebro, and let's put together a um, unrestricted, unrestricted Wakandan roster uh, where we can pick any characters from any boxes. So uh, bear with us a second, guys. Um, this will be about an hour and a half of me and Queen arguing, but you will just see moments of genius and that's all you get to see so we'll jump over and head over to cerebro okay so we are over on cerebro uh, we've got our wakanda ultimate guide set up here let's first of all go to our characters let's select them by affiliation let's go to wakanda because i don't think quinn there's anyone from our three box challenge from a wakanda perspective that we drop is there i think everyone Everyone makes it. Everyone makes the cut. I think for the. I, I think so. I, I, I think everyone from the three boxes we took gets in. As in the Wakandans. No, no. As in everyone from the three boxes we selected. Oh yes, Pat sorry. Or... From the three boxes, yes, yes. Sorry, you're absolutely. I, I thought you meant everyone. It's like okay, we've just made the ultimate guide on that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Winter Soldier is really needed. Um, to. You know, well, I mean, first of all, he's a bloody good three threat, right? Um, I mean, you know, so anyway, he started blasting. <laughs> I came in blasting. <laughs> um, yeah, Vision obviously makes it in there as well. Um, one thing we did mention before, Quinn, is that we had a lack of access to bigger hitters in Wakanda. Do you think there is a place for a five plus threat character? to be taken along in here. I do. I think personally I put in Angela much for the same reasons we brought like uh Vision. She te she typically has no abundance of power. You know, she's got that Asgardian trait. She's typically doing her builder with Xyphos. Getting rerolls on her is very nice. She also brings a size four terrain throw, which can be really nice for clearing things out, opening up the board, maybe stopping your opponent back stopping against your pushes. Yeah. She's also very quick. She's very quick, isn't she? Uh, medium base, long move. Uh, one of only two, I think, or three characters in the board that can, or in the game, that can get to a central point with a single movement action um, and, and pick up that objective and, and quite often be able to pick up or at least interact with two separate objectives 
uh, at, at different parts in the board, which is which is nice. And it's weird because it's, you know, Angela comes in, but, you know, everyone knows our love-hate relationship with Angela. But I mean, is, is it love-hate or is it just hate? I think it I might feel like it's just hate. I, think I don't think we have room in our hearts for love for Angela. I, I think it's probably true. One character I did want to talk about, Quinn, and I think could work with these guys, is the Prime Sentinel. Ooh. They've got the rerolls. They've got the power. They've got the restraint cables. Um, you know, yes, he is five threat, but he's also on a big base. Um, and he, yeah, you know, I, I could like see him as a replacement for Shuri at like higher threats. That and and that's kind of my thinking, right? He's a Shuri yeah. that can just do, you know, he comes in plasma blasting, right? That's what he do. <laughs> so anyway, um, I started plasma blasting with my Mark II. <laughs> Um, yeah, he just, he stood out to me as a character yeah. that I thought could like, work it, quite well. It's been a while since I've considered a Wakandan roster, and like, yeah, like, it, Sentinel Prime has released in the interim, and yeah. I, I don't hate it, also I can't see Cerebro. So what do we think, Quinn, does it, does it go in, or do we put it, do we put it in for the moment, so it's well, there? I'm on the fence about him, we'll see yeah. how it shakes out in so the we'll, end, I think. I think we'll, we'll put him in there as a reminder. And then we can come back to him. Um, I want to talk about. Go on. Samuel Wilson. Samuel. Oh, no, we can't put that in there, can we? Because it is, uh, it is like it's it's, it's this way around. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look. He's a good he's lad. <laughs> very, very good as a three threat. Um, I also don't mind him with Killmonger. Getting Killmonger into a position earlier with that airlift can be really nice. I mean, having um, the size two character push on the shield throw uh, very much leans into that control aspect as well. Potentially, yeah. like, potentially, he can push four characters in a single round. Yeah, yeah, if he gets... And, and also, he's guaranteed to be gaining one power, which then means that you can just continually fuel rerolls on that shield throw to either fish for the ricochet or to fish, like, for another success to get a point of damage through. Yeah. Yeah, he's 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 a very very good uh, three threat character. Also, even, he has my brain on him, so he technically counts. Technically, there, yeah. So no, I I I definitely like Sam Wilson in there as an option for us. So we're up to nine. Um, no. We have got uh, only one, two, three, three threats, um, mm. and we definitely need one more. One hundred percent. Um But I'm just I'm trying interested to... to see like who you're gonna say because I do have one in mind. Well, I'm trying to think of. Um, I mean, you you you've got an option, right? You, you can double down on the attrition side with Zima, and I don't think that's a bad option. I also don't mind doubling down on the attrition side with Strucker either. Ooh. That's interesting. Um, okay. You know, brings brings something a little bit different. Um, he brings that strategic genius as well. Um, but, it, yeah, he's just something a little bit different. Um, also, dishing out incinerates, which when you then come in, you know, play into the Wakanda for everything, if everyone you're attacking is on a, you know, on a, on a, on a defense dice less, then it's not bad. I would also say that, and I think I don't know if we can put him in this many videos, but I would also say if we're doubling down on the uh, on the attrition side, then you know Pyro is not a bad choice either. It depends which way we're going. I think. Right. So I'm going to ask you some questions, and eventually you're going to divine the answer <laughs> as to who I think the fit is. Well, far away. Let's right, see if so, Chad uh... get there before me. You recall the uh, No Way Home, uh, like, Pope's video we did a long time ago now. Yes. Almost a year ago, in fact. Okay. Right. Th there was sort of, like, a repeat joke or so something that kept repeatedly getting brought up, specifically by me in that video. C can you remember what it was? Are we going... I don't know, but are we going Gwen Stacy? We are going Gwen Stacy. Okay. Let's have a stone. <laughs> 
I, again, I don't hate it. Um, I mean, she very much leans into that control element because of the webline pushes. Yeah. Also, as we mentioned, I believe in the last video, we, did, did we include her in Hydra? I think we did. I think we, uh, we could have done, we, yeah. we did for the purpose of world domination. Uh, like, she can very easily switch to beat down. Yeah. Like, if she starts with three power on her within two of someone, she's throwing six dice that maybe throws plus seven dice. Like, that's pretty solid output for a three threat. Well, and and, and the movement off the back end of that as well. Um, movement off the back end of it if she... I mean, not with the beatdown specifically, because she's not... I mean, sorry, I meant, the, I meant the spider... Te- yeah, I meant the spider technique. I mean, um, also, she's bringing Lifesaver with her as well, which, which can not only stop attacks getting through, but also potentially pull people you've overextended back onto points to score yeah. them. You know, Killmonger's moved up and... You know, he's not quite done what he needs to do. He's then quite vulnerable. You want to keep him in the game. There we go. Back he comes sort of thing. So, yeah, I I do not mind that at all. Oh, let's go here. Let's pop that in there. That does give us 10. And, it, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with that. The, the only character that I would say I would potentially look at as well is Toad. Toad is solid. I do like Toad, but I do like the idea of using some new shiny stuff. You know what? In here as well. Chuck Angela for Toad. I don't hate it. I don't think we need to five threats. And I think now that Sentinel Prime has been released, he fills like that role better than Angela does. It's a slightly different role, isn't it? But as the five threat. Big, yeah, know, the, big the, the role of being the five threat big character, yeah. Okay, so there are our 10 characters. Are there any cards that we want to bring along? Well, first of all, we know that we want some oh, forever. Is that really the only Wakandan card? As I was just thinking, there, I thought, um, uh, no, surely the vibranium uh defense thingy. Oh, no, wait, is it not Wakandan? No, it is, it is. I'm it's it's just shout at the yeah, man now. Yeah. Um I I don't think this makes it into a full list quid if I'm being brutally honest. I, I don't think so. Um, um I think both Panther and Shuri have better things to be spending their power on. They do. They do indeed. I just want to check and see if there's any tactics cards that we want from characters. Um, I can think of one. Uh the prime one. No no no. Well, it's for Prime, but it's not Prime-specific. No, 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 that's what I meant, sorry. But yeah, Sentinel Prime. But in Smash. Ooh. I think that's pretty tasty. I think that is pretty tasty, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind taking it. I don't mind taking a tactics card for a five-threat character that's maybe not their own. Um, you know, I don't, I don't mind that at all. I mean, Let's... we don't really have a lot of other character card options just because a lot of them are team up, so we don't have the other half of the team. Yeah. I want to say, Brace, we're throwing in a, a five, a size five character in there. You know, yeah. that, that could wipe out a, uh, a Killmonger. If someone can shove him, then yeah. there will be issues. I still um, think we stick with Patch Up. And I think, Pat, yeah, I was just going to say, and Patch Up in there as well, uh, I think looks good. So that is five tactics cards that we've got at the moment, um, which isn't a lot. We no. do need to look at a couple of others. Um, Marked for Death is one Marked that for death I, is good. you know, if we're going to play into that attrition side, and again, we've got the option to do both, but if we're going to play into that attrition side, Marked for Death is very, very nice to be able to uh, to do that. You know, you just, you just shut down a Doctor Strange or... You know, guardians or you know another Wakanda that you come up against, right? Is uh, is very very nice indeed. What are the cards, Quinn? I'll be looking at for these guys. Just mm. starting to scroll down. Look at look at look at all these cards now that need. You know, they're either red or they've got <laughs> character specific. Oh, I wish climbing gear wasn't red. Oh, yeah, I, I know. Miss that so much. It would be good, wouldn't it? Um, is it- I mean. Is there still a world where Escort to Safety or indeed Face Me? I think, first of all, we're putting in the mission objective. Yes. Yeah, we absolutely are. 
yeah, that definitely needs to go in there, doesn't it? Because uh, just plays, you know, when you've got those single... Um, Keep going down. There we go. When you've got those single objectives, it's, yeah, it's real good. That's seven. We've only got three three spots left. Um, we take Gene just for the memes. <laughs> Gene! <laughs> um... Mm. It's hard, isn't it? it? It's rough. I mean... Fall back. Fuck it. Fall back. I don't you mind like fall back, back actually. Yeah, fall back's a card. Um, maybe maybe an escort to safety. Mm, if we I don't... We've got Gwen. Yeah, I was going to say if we like don't have Gwen. Gwen and there, the Koye, but... we've got some like pretty layered protection along with that fall back. Um, Is there anything else? Med pack. No, unfortunately. Oh, Please. psychic shield device. But there's no like sentinels cards that aren't in sentinels, right? Should we? Other should we? Than the like repair one. I'm not Search sure. Search by Let's... pack sentinel prime. Uh, 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 uh. Under your skin, no. <laughs> Are you sure? No. No. Why not? Bad. Yeah, there is. Then again, no, a fl- uh, then again, a flying Black Panther sounds pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, technically, you could go Sentinel Prime Winter Soldier. <laughs> well, we've we're dual affiliated, but yeah, no, yeah. Uh, absolutely not. So we are we are struggling here, Quinn. For another card. And this is again we, we we keep seeing this time and time again, don't we? Where this is the state that the game is in at the moment, where yeah. it there's just not a lot to choose from. Thinking replace brace with advanced R and D. R and D, if you can get a power on to Panther and Killmonger round one, can be. Do you know huge. what? I don't hate it. Like it's not solving our problem at all. Oh god, but, no. you know. No, if anything, it's just made that a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah, I I don't hate that. I mean, it's also potentially a consideration for the um, three box for the three box as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Um, and also, also Two getting cards. a getting a power onto him means restraint cables can be used. Yeah. As well, pretty good, which can be very nice because you know you could potentially pull somebody in far enough that then we can get Killmonger in. Yeah, I mean, it, if you really want to do it as well, you can potentially just synthesis with vision, then give out yeah. free power. Yeah, um, um, we're struggling, really. I hadn't noticed. Okay, guys, uh, that took us. Repairs, isn't it? That took us about twenty minutes to do, um, and we we landed on face me and escort to safety. <laughs> what we're going to say is, those last two cards are most definitely interchangeable with whatever the hell you want. Um, we 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 don't have characters, Queen, in this list, do we? That have their own tactics cards. You know, with the exception of Killmonger. There isn't a single tactics card. Oh, what's the Captain America one actually? The Steve Wilson one with the flight thing. Is that a thing? Bird of prey? Could... Yeah, put that in. Yeah, should we put Birds of Prey in? Rather than Escort to Safety? Yeah, sure. Bird of Prey is a decent card. I like Bird of Prey. It's it's a card, is what I will this, say. This is a factual statement. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, if, if you know that you're coming up against. Because Malekith has flight, right? So, you know. There you go. I mean, um, oh yeah, you get to re-roll all those dice against him. <laughs> That's what I meant. Fucking hell. That's what I meant. Somebody played what, it on my Malachi. Why, why, why did they put that on his card? Why? <laughs> um, right. Didn't need it. There we go. There we go. Right, Quinn, secure us. What are we going for? Gamma. It's got it's got to be Gamma, hasn't it? Like they they really really like that. Um, what about... I like Scoundrels. I would, you see, I... I know Scoundrels is good for these guys. But I just have a hatred of Scoundrels. 
that's because you don't like your opponent having cover. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Uh, but I do like that we, we are taking somebody in there that does mitigate that, which is which is always nice. Um, I um, think like last one is either Riots or Infinity, if I'm honest. Yeah, I, I, I'm leaning more towards Riots over, mm. infin- over Infinity. Just because Shuri can stand on your back point and reach one of the others. Yeah, exactly, that's the... yeah, yeah. Cool. And then for our extracts, what are we looking at? Ooh, um, Montessi's fucking great with the combo. And why is that, Quinn? Because it's a combo, zero it's a cost. Zero cost attack. <laughs> Pretty good. Research station as well. Yep. Push Research station it. is very, very good for these guys. Uh, Mystic Wakanda herbs. Panic <laughs> groups. <laughs> What? See, Panic Grips was an amazing. It was so good for these guys. It's the only B extract. It was great. It was so good for these guys because they just got power as well. Anyway, um, um, I everyone likes a hammer. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Like, oh, Mongo with a hammer. Black Panther with a hammer. Fucking great. Yeah, and what, again, what I would say is, is that Montessi and Research are good for these guys. The ones that I would shy away... And let's have a little talk about this, because I don't really think we've covered this before. Are there any that you'd shy away from? For me, if I'm coming up against a big team, uh, in, as in, like, a tall characters, big health pool... Single extract. Alien ship, like, mutant like, extremists. I, you know, I want to... And, and sorry, and scrolls as well. You kind of want to avoid a little bit, don't you? Um, yeah, so that may so. be a decision as to whether you take yours... Or your opponents. I also don't like Deadly Legacy Virus just because I hate the fact it exists. It I, 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 I what, don't why like is, this card. What, why are Herbs and Panic Grip banned Here when we go. this exists? Here we go. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but but, it, but it's true. It is true. Cool. Okay, let's save this. Let's click back on it. Um, where's it gone? What do we call it? There we go. Canon Ultimate Guide, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Export roster for import, copy. Let's jump back over to TTS Quinn so we can visually see the roster. We'll give some final thoughts on it and then we can have everybody home in time for supper. How's about that? Cool, here we go, Quinn. So here is our full Ultimate Guide Wakanda roster. So we've got, uh, from left to right, we've got Black Panther. We've got Captain America, Sam Wilson. We've got Ghost Spider, Gwen Stacy. We've got Killmonger Njedaka. I always feel like I'm butchering his it's name. Njedaka. Njedaka. Okay. Okoye. Uh, Okoye. Uh, um, Prime Sentinel Mark IV. We've got Shuri. We've got to. Oh, I'm disappointed you didn't pronounce it in the weird way you were before. Shuri. You, you were stressing the U. Shuri. I don't Shuri. Know. Toad. <laughs> like, Vision. Shuri. And Winter Soldier, aka James Bucky Barnes, aka the White Wolf, aka, AKA please release that character for us, AMJ, aka um, James Buchanan, Barnes. James Buchanan, Barnes. <laughs> um, <had> many names. <laughs> and I don't think anything changes, Quinn, does it, in terms of our core? You have those two yeah. options, right? So you can go you with your. To better building blocks, I feel. Oh, 100%. Yeah, but you can go the nine. Um, or equally, you can go with this as your as your eleven, or indeed, you know, as this is your eleven, or as this is your ten. Right? We've got a lot of flexibility in here, um, so I do I do like that. Um, let's talk about some of these specific uh, setups that we've got because I think we've got some that are definitely more attrition focused, and some where we're going to be more control focused. The one that sticks out for me, Quinn as a control piece, is absolutely Gamma Wave. Um, I think that's one where we want to take as much control as we can, but yeah. again, depending on what we're coming up against, if we find that we're coming into you know, a, a three-wide Malekith Cabal roster, then we may actually want to lean into the attrition side, but let's build our, our 15 threat on Gamma Wave. What does that look like for you? I mean, we're taking Panther. <laughs> we are we're taking we are, Shuri. We are definitely taking Panther, and we are definitely taking Shuri. And uh, that, up, circle... that upgrades is so good. I mean, also just the pushes, right? That's the main thing we're going for here. 
Um, I think we're going to circle back to our last Wakandan. Okay. But I think we're... Actually, I think I've just immediately figured out the list. Uh, it's Okoye, Gwen, Sam. It's pretty nice, isn't it? There's a lot of control there. There's a hell of a lot of control. Four out of five characters can push people. Yeah. No, there is a Gwen lot of control. Gwen unlimited. <laughs> yeah, she actually does, doesn't she? Yeah, she does push size and limit as it's however towards you, so you may want to uh, It's also line of sight, which isn't the case with Peter Parker's version of that ability. Well I mean is he is an entire threat higher. Um I mean and it's like what, the one thing he has better? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I mean I feel like Spider Sense is traded for how much better Gwen's attacks are. No, it's true. It is true. Um, I I I'd probably look at this from a, a slightly different side, Quinn. Um, I would, uh, I would potentially look at something like this as well as a more kind of attrition based, um, or even swapping out these guys and going down this route as well uh, as as some options. I think I clicked on vision there. Yes, I did. Um, but as, as we always say, once we get into these ultimate guides, Quinn, the big thing that a, um, a, a non-restricted list over a three-box challenge list gives you is flexibility. Quite often, you're keeping the same core components, aren't you? You're just giving yourself a lot more options at almost every threat level that you're that you're coming up against um which i think is you know is not to be sniffed at especially when you don't always know what your opponent is going to be you know playing before they turn up to the game uh you know lists aren't always submitted and then you, and then you don't always know who you're going to come up against right so it just gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of um what you're going to play into into who um any hints tips tricks things you want to share about Wakanda Queen. Anything that, you know, may catch people out or anything like that? No, I want to keep all my secrets to myself. Um, <laughs> keep, so your I think... keep your secrets. <laughs> I mean, the main thing, I think, is Wakanda Forever and Killmonger, right? Um, 100%. Yeah. Uh, so focus on the kill if you want to bring up Killmonger's card for a minute. Yes, which is very nice. Brilliant ability. If he's main attack against the character already uh, this turn, add two dice, right? That is on, like, if you make three attacks in a round, and, like, they're all into the same character, two of them are going to get the focus on the kill dice, right? That's yep. brilliant. So, if you are, you know, you want to start out with a bigger character that you want to take down, if you've got the power on Killmonger, chucking down a up first, because up gives him extra dice as well, it potentially you're throwing, like... Seven and then nine, and then if they're not dead, another nine from Wakanda Forever. You're going to be killing most characters in the game. Yeah, even even a Hulk, uh, even a, you know, even not having those re rolls against a a Malekith, right? You're going to be able to do some damage because you've still got that pierce on those vibranium weapons. Yeah, um, I mean, also like potentially against a Malekith, you the the lack of re rolls then frees up that extra power to be used on a Black Ops Black Ops Strike. Op strike extra two dice, which it depends, you know, it, it, it's difficult. Extra two dice versus a pierce. Without the re-rolls, probably the extra two dice is better, I would say, Quinn, more often than not. Um, but I do still like that pierce. I think there. also it very much depends on your opponent's defense pool. Um, the higher yeah. that is, the more value the pierce is going to have because there's less of a chance that they completely blank out. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But you are right, using that combination. You know, also, there's... Oop, go on, also sorry. on both Shuri and Killmonger, uh, they both have an ability that are very similar to each other. In fact, they're identical. They just have different names. Special forces, and I believe something about being a smart person. Super genius. There yes. we go. Na now we're going to be referred to as smart person for the rest of time. Smart person, yep. Uh, so, these abilities have some very interesting, like, plays you can make with them. So, I mean, the, the obvious one is if you've rolled more, like, shields than hits, use it, you get more successes, you do more damage, right? With, with Killmonger anyway, less so with Shuri, right? Yeah, That's unless you're doing a Sonic Crush, it's, yeah, but... Yeah. Your other application is potentially to not kill someone. Yeah. Because there are a number of situations in the game 
where it is more advantageous to keep someone alive than it is to kill them. Yep, 100%. Um, struggle prior for the cube. being the main one. <laughs> What's that, sorry? Yeah, priority. Prior being the main one. It, well, priority. I mean, also cubes. Struggle cubes for the cube. Uh, gamma wave, right? I mean, gamma wave yeah. less so, but if, if, if you know... If, if you, you leave someone with a cube alive on one, they will die in the power phase, which means yeah. they are gone for an entire round rather than, like, the final moments of whatever round you're in. Yeah. And it's potentially stopping them getting a whole activation throughout uh, the course of the game. Dark Dimension is another really good yeah. example of that. You know, leaving somebody on five power and one health. And guess what, guys? You're going you're gonna to take a damage. Uh, and it's during the power phase as well, which, uh, yeah, to your to your point, Quinn, is the optimal time. But you're right. Um, priority is another really big thing as well there. Uh, and if you kill a character um, and it gives them priority, that's not always a good thing. Um, so, yeah, some, some, good, some good hints and tips there. Um, I think, you know, for me is... Um, don't be scared to use your rerolls. Yeah. Most of these characters in this list, uh, probably with the exception of Akoye, don't use your rerolls on Akoye. Um, unless, you know, unless she's been really powered up somehow. Um, you know, Akoye is she, not... She's done a, and, like, stabbed the sentinel and done any <laughs> yeah. damage to her. I don't know. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's really hard to get power on Akoye. And... Um, like AMG probably went a step too far, removing her ranged power gain. That's yeah. my personal opinion. Yeah, like, they probably getting rid did. of the offensive reroll. I feel was enough for her. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, one last thing I think we should touch on is Montessi, right? Montessi yes. is an exceptional crisis for Wakanda because you, you see that Mystic Beam right at the bottom there. Uh, you see that last value on, on the side. That, isn't it that zero cost one? Zero yeah. power. Can you just show me Wakanda forever for a minute. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good, isn't it? Oh, uh, power cost is zero. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, now, you're um, not going like, to gain power from it, but you can put a book still. on Shuri. And book it, on so, Shuri, book on Okoye, like, let, give let, them offensive options. <laughs> let me ask you a question, Quinn. If it's Montessi, mm. do we automatically consider all the, Wakandans. all the Wakandans in there? Does, does that you become a thing? Do. Like, they are all very good with a book. I mean, like, Killmonger, if he does his beam, he's then got focus on the kill for everyone that he hit everyone on that beam. Everyone that he hits, yeah. So, which... it's like, I mean, potentially in a Wakanda Forever turn, he, Wakanda Forever's does the beam, stabs someone, kills them, gets a kill count token, then does, like, a Black Ops training, and, like, hits the other person they hit with the beam, and then suddenly they're getting even more dice. Like, I mean, Panther, um... Mantle of the Black Panther. Reroll everything. Let you reroll all the dice on that beam. Yeah. No, it's 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 very, very good. Uh, and I think there is, you know, for me, Quinn, there absolutely is that argument there to go hundred percent. That goes in, you know, if we, if we get Montessi formula, we go in there, and then you know, realistically, if we're going to be at fourteen threat, uh, sorry, at seventeen threat, it's probably your boy Vision. In there yeah. as well. What's better than more, more beams? What's, is better, more what's good. better than one beam is more beams. <laughs> um, I also like with Wakanda Forever. I think there are some important like timing things with it. Um, first of all, whose activation you choose to do it on? Because um, yeah. obviously, if you do it on Panther's activation and he's already paid for Mantle, he's getting that extra value from the rerolls on the Wakanda Forever attack as well. Uh, Killmonger obviously potentially getting focused on the kill dice. Um, also, in the resolution order of Wakanda Forever, a lot of the time you might want to go with Shuri first, because she's getting one power back anyway. She's potentially shoving away, like, potentially their Zemo or something that's providing a bonus to the enemy. And if she gets that failure, she's building power, and then it's allowing her to use upgrades on the rest of your Wakanda Forever attacks. Yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always going to be situational, isn't it? But you're absolutely right. Like, um, you know, don't don't use Shuri, by the way, if you've got a nice beam lined up with Killmonger, for example. Like, you know, do that one first. Um, um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Just understanding, it, it's all the same advice we gave on Siege of Darkness, Quinn, isn't it? It's about understanding when to use it. And really, it's going to be either to just solidify that win or to get you out of the shit, uh, and it can and it can most definitely do that. 
as a card. Um, so yeah, look, I, I, I think Wakanda are in a really good spot at the moment, Quinn. Um, I would definitely like to see more characters added to their ranks as we ranted about. Some bot. Like, it'd be so easy to just do a wave that was two boxes, like Nakia and Io as one box, and then Mbaku White Wolf as the other box. Yeah. It'd be so simple. I want to see the rhinos. I want to see uh, me some battle rhinos. <laughs> no. <laughs> with uh, with like a juggernaut esque type. Oh, you know, what, what collision what's damage? What, what's Martin Freeman's name? Agent uh, Ross. It's Martin, Agent Ross. It's Martin Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Agent um, Ross. Tish. Yeah. Yeah. Like, isn't he supposed to be related to um, Red Hulk as well? Like, it's uh, really Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt Ross. Is yeah, it? He, yeah. I think he's supposed to be like his nephew or something. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I know he's in the new film. I'm very much looking forward to the new film. Yeah, it's going to be uh, good. Like, it, I mean, like, We may also, have seen it by the time this comes out. Maybe. Yeah. I, I might not have because I have no money, but, you know. Yeah, I actually might be away. I might not be seeing it until Sunday, which will mean, like, a social media blackout for me until then because uh, I hate not seeing things straight away. I mean, but... also, like, not a Wakandan character, but someone very intrinsically linked to Wakanda. Uh, I would like a claw and a cuttlefish box. That'd be cool. That would be cool, yeah. Um, but there we go, guys. That is our ultimate guide to Wakanda. Hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you found it useful. Um, it's the first one that I think that we've done that we've done previously. Um, but obviously definitely some changes that have come in there in terms of restricted cards, in terms of the crisis. There's loads more crises available now than what we... Oh, oh yeah. No, no, wait, there's less. Um, but definitely in terms of... <laughs> You know, I think maybe even in terms of how we rule for priority has changed, Quinn. That's how long ago it yeah. was that we did that. So, uh, so yeah. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. If you have, please do leave a like. It really, really does help. I think. I'm told it does. I'm sure it does. Just the, leave a the like. little YouTube goblins tell us that it works. Yes. Um, if you want to support, thank further. you, Susan. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your surname. <laughs> Like it, it's what voice Nikki about? or something like that. She, she's um, like the person who's head of YouTube, Susan. Oh, uh, Sue, Sue. I call her Sue. Yeah, a mate's uh, Sue. A mate's call her Sue. Um, but yeah, and why are you if, doing it? Just let me let me pitch Patreon. No, for God's sake! <laughs> Don't give him your money. It doesn't come to me. <laughs> We've got a Patreon. None of it goes to Quinn. And if you ever needed an incentive to support us on Patreon, there you go. <laughs> Uh, he's lying. It does come to him. He gets character boxes and God, all sorts. I get fucking nothing. Pizzas, games, all sorts. Um, we do have a Discord. Head on over there and check it out. You probably notice we've been doing a lot of Marvel Snap at the moment as well. That's not going to stop. Um, so if you're into Marvel Snap, check that content out as well. Uh, yeah. And as always, guys, it leaves me with just enough time to say stay well, keep safe, and until next time, bye for now. See you.